Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Mo. If you're new here, welcome. I do DIYs in using Dollar Tree products and I'm a new DIYer. I just started in February. I've never did a DIY in my life before then. So I'm still practicing. So join me on my journey. So I have an incredible, incredible video for you today. This is Ray Dunn's a radon inspired DIYs, kind of like dupes, and you do not need a Cricut maker to do radon DIYs. I'm going to share many different ways you could achieve the look without a Cricut maker. I'm also going to share a really good video that I think does it by hand. So you're, there's going to be plenty of ideas, plenty of ways you don't need a Cricut maker to do these DIYs. And also, this is just something I've wanted to do for a really long time. So let's get started. Happy Devil's Night, everyone. So in today's video, I made all this all this incredible high-end farmhouse looking decor dupes in Ray Dawn theme. I spent way under $30 for the entire spread, including the paint, even a Christmas DIY. So grab some popcorn and let's get started. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to show you real quick how expensive Radon is and what it is. If you're not familiar, it's very pricey. Look at that, $105 for those four bowls, $90 for this six set, and it's just a little bit out of my price range. Um, you know, I'm not a multimillionaire, <laughs> so, and you know, $11 for a sponge holder. I honestly would pay $20 for that things basket. That is cute, but $22 for a coffee cup. I made mine for literally $3. And lastly, a dog mom cup, $35. And then the ceramic jar is 32, which isn't bad, but look at this, $48.99. So $50 for a cookie jar? Are you kidding me? I mean, mine for 10. So let's do this. So I got these cups and bowls and the cookie jar all from Target. The cups and bowls were $3 each and they even gave me a free one. So I saved $3. This jar right here was $10 from Target. Instead of $50, I mean, are you kidding me? That's insane. You also could use Dollar Tree glassware just like just like this, but I find that the bowls and the cups kind of have a rough bottom and I don't want to scratch up my granite countertops. So let's get started. So this is the paints I used for this video. White, gloss, cherry red, and this one is a flat matte black by Rust-Oleum. Giving these two items a really good coat of paint, I let them dry completely overnight. At the snap of a finger, it's dry, right? The beauty of YouTube, right? So then I painted this face from the Dollar Tree in my cherry red. To give this a really high-end Ray Dunn look, I took my white chalk paint and a little, kind of like a beauty makeup brush, and I went around the edges. This is optional. This is just something I thought would look really beautiful. This is just absolutely beautiful like this, isn't it? I love it. So for the red one, I did the same. I just took the white chalk paint, went around the edge with my little white, and gave it just a little bit of definition. Then I made a two-tiered tray, and I used one of these little pans, two candle holders, and one pizza tray, all from the Dollar Tree. I painted it white, let it dry completely, and then I was ready to move on. Once it, the white was completely dry, I used this wax so that my chalk paint was not going to chip. All right, let's move on to these Cricut font sheets. The moment you've all been waiting for, I bet. You probably clicked on this video because you want to know what are the Ray Dunn sheets. I must know. So I, as you see here, I use what's it called? Yep, premium vinyl in the matte, in the black. So this top one is called Four Seasons. This one's called Kaiden. And this one is called Straight and Simple. These are all the best one, the best Ray Dunn dupes. I'm not going to use that one. I'm not going to use Kaiden. I'm going to use Straight and Simple for this video. And then I printed them out and put them all on. So, don't have a Cricut maker? I got you. Look, all you have to Google is Ray Dunn decals, and they have them everywhere. They have every different category you could ever imagine. Christmas, fall, and you can find them on Amazon, Etsy, eBay, so many places. Also, you can watch Bargain Bethany's video. She does this incredible by hand. I will link all this in the description box. So these are all other options. You do not need a Cricut maker to achieve this look, and it's still very affordable. 
And so here I was just putting everything on and this was the funnest part. These are hands down my favorite DIYs I've ever done. They're so high end. You're gonna love doing this. It's so much fun. So I'm gonna show you one last item. I'm not gonna show you, you know me attaching every single one. You get the point. But I just basically put all the letters onto my little jars. Then I just finished up the rest of my words and I decided to use this white frame from the Dollar Tree. I took it apart, turned it over, used the white side, and I decided to use the word blessed. Stunningly beautiful this all turned out. Now let's do that little Christmas DIY real fast too, and then let's make that two-tier tray and let's set it all up. I used the word jolly for this beautiful Christmas face. I use this nine foot ribbon. You'll never find any ribbon any cheaper from anywhere else besides the Dollar Tree. I made a bow, put in some sprigs also from the Dollar Tree in the sparkly silver, and that was done. I made this two tiered tray right here to, by using hot glue. But if you don't have a very fancy hot glue gun, you're gonna wanna use hot glue and some E6000 and let it sit overnight so that it will hold. And then I set everything up and then I was done and I have never felt so satisfied from a DIY in my entire life. You have to try these DIYs. They're so much fun. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you guys. All the new subscribers lately. I see you and I'm grateful. And I'll see you guys on Sunday for my live craft hour. Have a great day.